What are you wearing? It's casual social outfit. No, it looks like you're going to a fish fry. They're howling at the moon. It's suggestive to women because of howling during sex. That's not appropriate. <laughs> uncool. <laughs> uncool. What's up, guys? It's Blake. Uh, if you know anything about me, I am a huge fan of The Office, and the great thing is about The Office is that it was filmed right in my backyard. I live in Los Angeles, and just about everything on the show was filmed here. So I'm taking today to hit a bunch of these locations that I drive past all the time and figured I'd put them together because not everybody has access to it. One thing, I wanted to add a little bit of a twist, so I was thinking, you know, what could I be driving around in that would just that just says The Office? Now I tried to get a Sebring. I tried to get Michael Scott Sebring, but the uh, thing is, is they haven't made those for a, for a while. I want a Sebring. They don't make them anymore. And I want Charles gone. Ended up getting a PT Cruiser. It's Brittany. So we are off to the first spot. So we're off. This is my sister Mackenzie, who is a big Office fan, just like I am. Uh, brought her along to help out and check out some of these locations. Uh, we were both pretty excited uh, about renting this PT Cruiser until we realized that it does not have air conditioning. Um, definitely not ideal. It's pretty hot in in LA right now. You know, high 80s, low 90s, and when you got a big, you know, some big windows here baking you inside, like it's just <laughs> not. Anyways. Uh, we wanted some tunes for the ride, and um, unfortunately, you know, these fancy iPhones that don't have auxiliary cables anymore, and this car doesn't have Bluetooth, it's a 2008 PT Cruiser. So, I made a N3P mixtape. Nope, that's not it. I am downloading some N3P that's music yep. for a CD mixtape. Close. All right. Welcome to Lake Scranton. Actually, this is not Lake Scranton. We are in uh, right outside of Los Angeles, California, at the Hanson Dam, uh, which they used as Lake Scranton um, in the episode Beach Games. We are situated on the northeast corner of scenic Lake Scranton, America's eighth largest indigenous body of water. It is here. Originally, the crew wanted to film at a lake that resembled Lake Scranton. When they found one in the area in Los Angeles, they thought this was way too beautiful and instead went out and looked for and found the Hanson Dam, which was the bleakest lake they could find. This was a ridiculous trek to get here. It was like, I don't know. We walked for a long time through some woods. We started with this one first, just because it's about the, the furthest out of LA that we're gonna hit today. Okay, come on, let's go. So we just did Lake Scranton, and next stop is Scranton Business Park. We're gonna do a lot of locations today. I feel very blessed. <sighs> so we are at Scranton Business Park, which is actually called Chandler Valley Center Studios. This is, you know, pretty much every scene was filmed here. Go Oscar, 31's my number. That's impossible. Beat it! There's actually a second sound stage over that way where all the interiors were done. It's also the home of the five families. The bosses rarely meet. There's Michael Scott, regional manager, Dunder Mifflin. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Paul Faust of Disaster Kits Limited. They call him Cool Guy Paul. WB Jones of WB Jones Heating and Air. Grade A Badass. And Bill Cress of Crest Tool and Die. Bill is super old and really mean. So the next site is super famous, but it's kind of a downer. It's a, a Black Angus Steakhouse that um, was all dressed up as chilies for the Dundies episodes. Welcome to the 8th Annual Dundies Awards. At this point, it's been torn down, as you can see here. Pretty bleak. Not a whole lot going there. Uh, definitely was torn down several years ago. One interesting thing is, you know, I guess they dressed up this Black Angus to look like a, a Chili's, you know, because 
was actually, if you look at a map, there's almost no Chili's in Los Angeles. Huge circle of them around the city, but not really any in here. Uh, a couple have been built since the Dundee's episode, but um, I'm guessing the show did a deal with, with Chili's and needed to get creative. So, no more Black Angus Steakhouse. Best Dundies ever. So on to the next location. We're gonna go hit a couple of the characters' houses uh, that are all actually pretty close by. So this used to be Jim's parents' house until Jim bought it for Pam. Oh, it's on uh, Linden Ave by the quarry? Oh. Cool beans, man. I live by the quarry. We should hang out by the quarry and throw things down there. Definitely we should. Now, if you remember, there's a clown painting inside that apparently is crucial to the structural integrity of the house. It's kind of funny, there's a, there's a Subaru Outback in the, in the driveway, so maybe Jim and Pam, you know, we can't rule it out, they actually might live here. Could you guys all do me a favor and just not talk about this until I tell Pam? So, you might remember Daryl's house from an episode of the office called The Meeting, where Dwight and Toby think Daryl's lying just to get workers' comp, so they head to his house. They mistake Daryl's sister for him. Oh, yeah, you ass Toby, you gonna eat all that dog food yourself? and then peel out and knock over a bunch of the garbage cans. <laughs> the funny thing about Daryl's house is it's right next door to Meredith's house. Which reminds me of Katrina. I'm not going in there. Toby's house is actually only a block away from Meredith and from uh, from Daryl's house. So it's right here. It's actually uh, been a gate built right now, but we're going to uh, have a little bit of fun. Did you bring eggs? No. No? Hey, Toby, you suck! Is this an employee of ours? <laughs> Go, 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 go! Um, I think we're done with the with the houses for a little while. Um, we are going to head to uh, the Steamtown Mall. So now we are at the Steamtown Mall, Scranton's finest. Uh, it's actually a mall in Sherman Oaks called the Westfield Fashion Square Mall. And uh, in an episode called Women's Appreciation Day, Michael takes his female employees down here. He actually throws a coin in the fountain and wishes for something for each one of them. So he also brings each one of them to Victoria's Secret to buy themselves a gift. You know what? I would love to buy you a fresh set of underwear. Sometimes the clothes at Gap Kids are just too flashy, so I'm forced to go to the American Girl store and order clothes for large colonial dolls. So we wanted to go to Dwight's house, but it's actually on this place called Paramount Ranch, up about a half an hour, 45 minutes north of LA. Um, it's a really cool property. It's what real movies and real TV shows will rent and shoot on. And there's a farmhouse there called Olivia's House. And that's where uh, Dwight lives. And that's his farm and all that. So that one we can't do. But right now we're headed to Michael's condo. So this is Michael's condo. Someday I could just see my grandkids learning how to walk out here. Hang a swing from this tree. Push them back. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh no, it's this one. It's right here. This is this is Michael. This is Michael's condo. It's uh not too big, but it uh, did the job. That's what she said. That's my joke. <laughs> Come on, last stop. Hop in the PT Cruiser. You, me, Dwight are going to jump in my PT Cruiser. We are going to crush this sale. So the last stop on the list was Poor Richards. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to all this footage, but somehow the file got corrupted. The videos all kind of jumbled up, and here's what the audio sounds like. So actually, Poor Richards is a bar called Pickwick's Pub. Mentioned all the time in the office. It's a lot, you know where they go for happy hour to get drinks, that kind of thing. I love the scene, and I think it's the third season where Roy and his brother just trash the place. <laughs> And this is the place that uh, the series kind of comes full circle when everybody gets together and watches the very first episode of the documentary. I'm personally done with the PT Cruiser. Uh, it is 88, 90 degrees, something like that. And it's just unbearable in this car with no AC. Actually, a second ago, I wish I had the camera rolling, but obviously you can never plan these things. I was driving this PT Cruiser on the 101 giant freeway in LA and the thing just 
shut off completely. Was coasting going about 45 or 50 and just had to coast off to the side and hope, you know, I made it. The car actually stalled right before I stopped. I mean, thankfully we made it safely to the edge. Hilarious car for, for Michael to have driven in the series. Not hilarious to have to drive it yourself. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all the locations that we stopped at. Uh, it was pretty fun. Like I said, you know, for somebody that's that's in LA, these are just right in your own backyard. And for people that aren't, hopefully I gave you a cool view of, uh, of a lot of these places. So if you like this video, if this one goes well, then uh, I might be doing some more of these. Thanks so much for watching, guys.